Welcome to Soft Tissue Ultrasound for the Pediatric MS3 Clerkship. We're going to discuss some basics of soft tissue ultrasound as well as a few cases. This is an example of normal soft tissue on ultrasound. You can see skin followed by subcutaneous fat, fascia, muscle, blood vessels may or may not be seen, and bone would appear bright white and would be at the bottom of the image. Generally, we're using ultrasound at the bedside to look for an abscess versus cellulitis. An abscess is a fluid collection that requires an incision and drainage. This is the appearance of cellulitis on ultrasound. This is called cobblestoning, and as you can see, there's no discrete fluid collection present. This is the appearance of an abscess. You can see a complex fluid collection with very irregular borders. Here's another example of an abscess. This is called pus astalsis, as you can see the pus swirling around within the abscess itself. So our case is a 22-month-old female. She's coming in with redness to the back of her leg, no systemic symptoms, no medical problems. On exam, she has a painful, erythematous, warm leg. You think she probably has cellulitis and you want to treat her with some antibiotics, but you're wondering whether or not there's an abscess present as you've heard that physical exam is not always the most accurate way to determine this. And an abscess would require an incision and drainage, which is a painful procedure and may require sedation in this child. So basically we're asking cellulitis versus abscess. So we're going to use our high frequency linear transducer. We're going to start from normal skin, scan over the infected tissue back to normal skin. And you want to do this in both the longitudinal and transverse plane. You want to make sure to scan deep so that you don't miss any hidden abscesses. So here's the ultrasound of our patient's leg. As you can see, there's no discrete fluid collection. Cobblestoning is present, so this is most consistent with cellulitis. So same patient, but different ultrasound results here on the right. You can see a complex fluid collection with irregular borders. This is consistent with an abscess. This patient would require an incision and drainage. Ultrasound can help you locate the best place to make your incision so that you don't have to make multiple incisions and you have a higher first time success rate when draining it. After you've completed your incision and drainage, you can also ultrasound the area again to make sure you haven't missed any pockets of pus. So in summary, ultrasound is a quick, low-cost, and non-invasive way to assess soft tissue at the bedside to determine whether or not an abscess is present. You want to scan through the entire affected tissue, as an abscess can sometimes hide at the edge. And you're basically looking for a fluid collection. Thank you.